Okay, so hi and welcome back to part two of, I guess it's like, I was supposed to say this sorting video, but like the last one was its own video, but yeah, part two of, it's the second clip to my previous one, so they're filmed in one go. And in fact, okay, I'm just gonna check if my camera is actually leveled. I don't know. But we're, in this part, we're just gonna start off with all the mini binders, because I have those right next to me. So we're gonna start out with this one, and... I think I should have the cards for this binder in this pile, which yes, I do. Which is a lot of Hyuninkai. A lot and a lot and a lot of Hyuninkai. Because he was the only one I was really missing a lot of photo cards for in this binder. But we're going to start off by putting this Hyuninkai on the front, which is a card from their Midsummer photo book, I think. Let's see if I can do this without like uh, actually having to turn the camera off and everything, but yeah. I don't know how long this will stay actually because I realized with TXT, because I've already lost interest in collecting TXT again. So I feel like TXT is one of those groups where I like collecting during comebacks, but as soon as the comeback is over, I kind of just lose interest. And I feel like some of you might be able to... Oh, Hopefully someone, no one's getting angry at me for damaging this, but it's not damaged. But maybe some of you like also feel this way, that some groups you just enjoy collecting during comebacks, and other times you're just like, okay. And I don't feel like it should be like that, at least not for me. I should like enjoy collecting the group. Like, every day I should just not feel like, okay, it's comeback's over, now I don't want to collect this. Which I kind of do with Kai again. So I might just sell those cards, who knows, with my albums. But yeah, I don't know, it could be really hard to sell with albums as well, because sadly Kai is a less popular member, but I might see if it's possible to sell them. Which is so sad, because I just put them in, but yeah. Anyways, for Nikki, we have some group cards. We have this one, which matches this concept. Because I really want to try to fill out these empty spots I have when there's only three. So I need these group cards. So if you have these two group cards, hit me up because I do like to buy. I would like to buy them or trade for them. And then we have this last essential group card, which is going right here. I'm not sure if Nikki's actually... No. Okay, yeah, he's wearing... I was about to say he's not wearing the same outfit, but under this big t-shirt, he is wearing the same striped shirt. So this is the one that's going here. So yeah, that was all the cards I had for Nikki, which is... No! I have one more. I'm not gonna... No, no, no. I have this concept one as well, which is gonna start filling out this page. So now I'm only missing two cards, which is progress, but it's both the selfies because now I have both the concepts. So I'm almost there, but I feel like in Hyphen should have a comeback soon. It's been... It's been like a year. No, it's not a year, but like I feel like they had a comeback last summer. So it's been a while. But yeah, here we have my Huning Kai collection, which let's put these in. And just enjoy it while it lasts, because I'm not sure it's going to last for very long. So if you're a Hinikai collector and you want to buy them, also hit me up. <laughs> but yeah, oh my god, I don't know. I just, yeah, sometimes I just start collecting groups too fast. But that's okay. That's so okay. I can enjoy TXT's music without collecting. I feel like that's what I'm going to do. But yeah, I already took my, I think I'm only missing two cards for Kai, but I took down the wish list because... I just don't want people to try to, or ask me to trade for them because I'm just gonna say no, which is so bad, but I'm still missing this one. But for this page, I should have all of them. I have his jewel case slash digipack cards. So yeah, oh my God, it feels so weird putting these in once, like since my head kind of knows that they're not gonna stay forever, but that's okay. I'm gonna enjoy it for now. And then we have Thursday Child. So we have this one, which is really cute. But I might actually just keep my favorite photo cards for Kai, like I've done with some other groups, but then I'm keeping the card on the front, the Midsummer one, which is so stunning. So another complete page. And then we have the other Thursday Sean card, which is going right here. And I actually have traded for this Weaver's one. But then we have his, these cards. And don't know really know which one goes where, but we're just gonna put these in. So these are the photo book cards from their new album. The name chapter Temptation, apparently. Oh my god. Oh, yes, yeah. I don't know, this just feels weird. But yeah. 
<laughs> my cat collection is almost complete. <laughs> but, oh my god. So then, yeah, we have all of his bigger cards at the back. But then we have my BTS photo books. So I did get my J-Hope one in. I was hoping to have my Yoongi one as well, but I got an email saying that they were delayed. And then I checked the website. And it said they were delayed until, like, late May. And I was like, no, because I already had, like... Because I ordered Jungus with J Hope and my Stacy Limit, Stacy Limited album, and I was like, I want to wait till the end of May to get those ones. So I asked the website if if they could split the order, which they did. Even though that was a very confusing email conversation, because it's I ordered from iMusic, which is a Danish web like website, and I don't know. Sometimes it works with Danish, so I just email them in Swedish because I've done it before, and of course I got my reply in Danish because that's just natural. But I, I don't think I quite understood her. So I made her job so hard and I just feel so sorry for her. But it's okay. We solved it at the end, even though she must hate me now. So if you're the person who worked at customer service that day, I apologize a lot. But yeah, this was the random photo card I got. And this was the one you got with all the albums. No, all the photo books. So yeah, now I'm only missing one photo book. And then I think that's the end of my BTS collecting journey because... Yeah, I feel like that's just all I'm gonna collect for BTS. Because for those of you who don't know, I had a full BTS collection. I had all my Jimin album cards, I had all the albums, and I sold it off a bit before COVID, I think, when I just got like, I think I hit my head on something and decided to sell it. I did keep my light stick though, because that's that's in my heart. I used that at, my con at the concert with my dad. It was just such a vibe. <laughs> And my dad can still say that he's been at Wembley Stadium and all his guy friends is just like, oh, which football game did you see? And he's just like, oh, I, I went to a K-pop concert, which is always a fun conversation to have. But yeah, it was just a very nice memory to go to my go to, to the concert with my dad. But it's like four years ago almost by now. And I can't believe I saw them four years ago. It's just crazy. It was back in 2019. Which is just like, it's so crazy. But yeah. We're not going to talk about that. But that was all for this binder. Let's put that to the side. And let's keep going with an engine. And I, oh, I kind of flipped. Oh, the card just went everywhere. So Sana can wait because he's not going in this binder. Oh, wait. This is not the correct stack. Where's the rest? Because I don't have these cards in my hand. Wait. Oh, I don't have. Okay, I think this is the right stack. Yeah. So we can skip these for now. We can take out these engine cards. And yeah, let's just put these engine cards in. Yeah. I also like this is another collection I don't know how to fill. But I know I'm not selling it yet because I know I'm gonna regret everything when NCT Dream have a comeback. But I think I've decided to drop my Wavy collection though. Because I can't remember the last time I watched any Wavy content. I can't even remember the last time. I actually watched any content with my bias in it. And yeah, I, I like their music. I just haven't been looking at the content a lot. So I feel like I would just be happier collecting just Genjin and Heishan. But we'll see. It just feels so weird saying I'm going to drop a lot. Because I feel like the last like the last year, last two years, I've been like a person who has like a big collection. I collect a lot of people. But I feel like at one point it's going to get too overwhelming. Which it has. But yeah, we have his limited card. If the person who traded with me is watching this, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> so I traded, I think, two G-Sung album photo cards for this because, of course, like a normal album card that comes in, like, a, I think it was Wee Boom Reload, maybe. They're not worth as much as the limited one for candy, especially since it's this Renjun card, which is so hard to find. And then we have his Digipack card because this is the photo book I... I got a comment that I switched them up, so yeah. Digipack, photo book, hopefully that's correct. And then we have these, which I do have, I think. I think this is the guest version, which should go right here. And then I think this is his portrait, which I finally have. The seller took a while to ship out because I think they were just waiting to have like a big batch, which took a while. <laughs> But yeah, and then I have traded for this ID, but it hasn't arrived yet, but I hope it will. Then we have my 8 to turn collection, which is, I don't know what's going on. I did join a go for my bias's full set, but 
I haven't heard anything about that since pretty much the comeback and I did DM the group or the manager but it's been a week and no reply but I did see they were active because they were at Music Bank in Paris but I don't want to be annoying and like oh bump my message so I'm gonna give them like another week or two and then I might write in the group chat and be the annoying person who says like is there any update for this goal because there's no update highlight I've checked that I have actually had the decency to check for an update highlight first but yeah but then we have this just P1 Harmony card and this collection is lagging I'm currently not like looking for their cards but I have the wish list up so if someone's gonna offering offer me a trade I'm just gonna trade but I'm not actively looking for these but yeah that was all for that binder and then we have this one which has NMAX but I, I do have an NMAX card actually I do have the last unique Ginny card I needed to complete my collection which is very exciting I did order and make this new album from the Swedish record store and they did get the digipack in stock ages ago but the other versions just never got in stock on the day they said they would and I emailed them and they said like oh we just never received them from our supplier and it's like maybe you should let me know as a customer because I kind of want those albums and I'm this close to cancelling and making another order on catch up CD but here's the thing I've already cancelled most of my orders because they've been taking too long. Because like, even if it says it's in stock, it's just not in stock because sometimes they sell the last album in store and then it's not in stock and they have to order it. Then, yeah, I've just been a very annoying customer because I've cancelled most of my orders lately. But yeah, I'm, I'm just going to be patient that they will get these albums in stock so I can start trading for Sulyun. But to be honest, I feel like my go things will arrive faster. Which is saying a lot. But yeah, then we have my Kepler collection. And Kepler also had a comeback yesterday. And I'm going to say that again. If you have not listened to listened to it, go do so. Because I feel like, of course, it's Ive. Ive is such a big group that I feel like Kepler was a bit overshadowed. Which is, it's, it's, it's okay. I like both groups, so don't come at me here. But I do think you should give this Kepler album a listen because I know a lot of people did, did not like I hated Refresh like I was this close to selling all of this because Refresh was just not my thing and I did like We Go Up or the Do Blast album and I did like their debut but just Refresh was a bit about ooh. but this new album that they released it's so good I don't know like Giddy is just a, such a fun title track and my favorite song is definitely Why but the whole album is really, really good. But here's the thing, they have so many cards. And it's not enough to buy one set of albums for one member, which sucks. But I did order one set of albums with my Eye albums, so praying for good pulls. But yeah, I completed Bahia. I have the last album card here, so she's all done. And now I can just like wait for my new albums and see which pulls I get and start trading. And yeah, I did also keep my Billy collection in here. So yeah, I don't know. I just These are collections that I like keeping in an A5 binder, but I just did not like having Karina here. Yeah, and I also put this Solian card on top because I feel like it kind of matches the cover that Anna made for me. Like it, it looks good. I like it. But yeah, the next binder is this one, which have I even showed it? I think I might have shown it once before. You can spot Haruna in here. But yeah, it's just like a very small collect book. I'm trying out to see if I like it. So I have some on Yujin. I have this Ray card, which is stunning. I have this Liz. I have some Doyon cards that I couldn't get rid of. I have some Sanrio merch, which I'm still missing. One go from Sanrio. It's been a year. And I don't even want to talk about that. We're not we're not thinking about that. But yeah, I have some Hyunjin cards that I'm just... I'm gonna say it, I'm just gatekeeping them by now because <laughs> I don't need them. But we have some extra NMAX cards that I like. Yeah, I'm also gatekeeping these. I don't know why I have them. I'm probably gonna, if I can't, yeah, I'm gonna try to sell my Hunin Kai cards with albums. And if those will not sell, I might try to sell them with Young Genius to get rid of them. Then we have this list pop, and then we have some Jisung cards that I didn't want to get rid of because I really like them. And yeah, okay, new cards. So first off, we have this mini pop, which is not new. I already own this, but I decided to sell off my mini pops. 
So I'm just going to put this here because I kind of wanted to keep one. And this is one of my favorite ones. So whoop. then we have this one John card. So um, I guess we can say we're friends. I don't know. But yeah, a friend, I guess. Yeah, we're going to say a friend. She sold off a lot of her collection. And some of it included some ice one cards. And I saw three one youngs and was like, I want this one. But then I also saw two, saw, saw two extra that another friend Lily did not have marked off on her wish list. I was like, I'm just going to get those for her as a thank you for helping me so much with my collections. But yeah, she's already received them because I got these cards a while back. I just haven't stored them away. But yeah, and then we also have this Giselle, which is from the membership version of the SMCU. And yeah, these are all cards I just think are very cute for now and I want to keep. And then we have my Sue cards from their The Village of Perception Chapter 2 with Mew merch. So this is her pub you got if you ordered over a certain amount, which I did because I ordered two keychains, which I have hanging on my wall grid, but I don't know how to feel about them. <laughs> Yeah, I have these exact, like the one she's holding. I did trade for these because I said I didn't get her. But I don't know, like the cat is kind of cute. But this one, I don't know what this is, but it's not, it's scary. So I'm not, I need to take them off my wall grid because it's really scaring me actually. But yeah, and then we also have this one. Okay, but yeah, that was all for my, oh my God, please. That was all for my small binders. So now we're just going to move on to some bigger binders. So the first big binder is going to be, I was supposed to say Astro and AB6, I have no idea. But it's treasure on the front, which means I do keep some boy groups in here, which one of them is Gravity, which I did make this and like, I don't know how to feel about it. But he looks cute, but it's very pink. <laughs> I don't know, it's very cute. So I'm going to keep it for now because I think it looks decent at least. Okay, come on, Sana. I want to find some other cards. I want to find... Let's see... These. Okay. So, let's see. Let's put the treasure card away for now. So, let's see. Do I have anything for this? I think I have actually something here. I have this one coming. But I do also have this. This is the Peace version from their new album, which I did pull. In my own copies, which was super nice. So have that one and then hmm. I do not have the Kino for this version. I don't actually have anything more on this page on the way, but I do have the Kino for this version because I recently decided to collect his Kinos and all units, which is something new, but I just like the way it looks. Like it looks perfect. I think Sunflower Uno also has it set up like this. Or I think that's where I got the inspo. Or if they don't have it like have it set up like this right now. I think they have like some time in the past because I, I'm sure I got this idea from someone. But yeah, I do have most of these units on the way, if not all of them. For this page, I also have most units on the way. And yeah, okay, this is the new one. So I do have the Kino. Someone reached out to me to trade for my setting. So I do have his Kino card. And then I have some units. So first off, I have this with Alan, so it goes right here. I have this one in the suits with a junk mall, super cute. And for this album, I haven't really made any progress with the units. I need to start buying them, but I'm waiting for more people to receive their albums and then selling off their extra copies. I also have this one with Mini. So I'm getting somewhere. I do also have his jewel case. I got it. On McCurry because I wanted his MV pop from Starship Square because it was just like amazing. But I'm gonna put his jewel case and MV pop on this page since I kind of like the way it looks like 333 as it does for this album. It's just it looks good. So yeah, and then I do not have anything for VI because that's a stock collection, but I do have one treasure card and I'm only missing three more cards and then I'm gonna stop this collection. I already stopped the Digi Packs and Kinos. This is what I have. This is this is what I keep because I just gave up on that. But I do have this one, which is the blue version, but I don't have a concept. So it must be this selfie. So two self, no, one selfie and a concept, but I'm still missing this selfie, which is just like, give me it, please. But yeah, 
oh, I don't know, treasures? It's hard to collect treasures, it's hard to trade, but it's even harder to sell off your extra cards if no one wants to trade. So yeah, let's move on to my Astro and AB6 binder because I do have a lot of Astro cards today. So it's not very often that I get to open this binder anymore since... Okay, I don't think AB6 has had a new comeback, but I don't know. And Astro hasn't actually had a full comeback either. So maybe that's the reason. But yeah, I'm not sure I'm going to keep collecting these groups, but for now, I'm enjoying it. I feel like Astro and AB6 are two groups that I enjoy collecting if I join Go, so I just wait to get cards and do not have to trade a lot. But Moonbeam and Sana did have another subunit come back. It was a while back, so it's not new, but I've just been waiting on Go's, as you can see. So I did join two different Go group with managers. This was like a last minute because this group with manager is the one I've joined in the past I bought from them as well. They had already closed for this store, but then I saw these previews and I had to have, have these. So I found someone from the UK. They were, I think they're a pretty new group order manager, but they seemed, seemed good and everything worked out there and they were super nice. So I, I got these with inclusions and for each pub, you actually got two album cards because you got two album cards in each album, which is really nice. But I did have to struggle to get these home because Swedish, like, the Swedish postal, post node for everyone, or I like to call them like postal murder, but that's a different thing, because uh, <laughs> it kind of rhymes in Swedish, but they wanted me to pay like customs and, I don't know what it's like called, is it called customs and, it's another thing which is called moms in Swedish, I don't know what that's in English, if it's the same, I don't think so. So they wanted me to pay, but their own rule states that if it's under Okay, 50 euros, and it's from sent to like two, like two, it's not called private persons, that's what it's called in Swedish, but like two, two normal people, not any, not a business. If it's sent and it's a gift, then you don't have to pay customs, whatever. But they always send me an invoice if it's from the UK and you fill out one of those customs forms. It doesn't matter if you mark it as a gift, they will send me a customs form. But however, if you did mark it as a gift and you put the value below 10 pounds, it's easier to dispute it which I always do. And I even had to read their own rules to the girl on the phone. And she was just like, oh, okay, but I, I still need to check this. And he's like, I'm right, stop. He's like, I'm, I'm always prepared as well. So I just like, I know who sent this. And like, I'm, I know this person. Like, of course I don't know the group or any manager like that, but I told them I knew this person. It was a friend who sent me a gift. So please give me my gift. But yeah. Okay, stop ranting, but yeah. And then I just have these pops as well, because they're cute. Like, look at him. <laughs> like, this was, with, I think this was the first set that made me cave in. And then we saw that one. And then this one, I was like, I might as well collect all the cards, you know. So, that's what happened. But now, hmm. Just, mm -hmm. Oh, how do I want to do this? One thing I know is that we're going to do it like this. Okay, we're just gonna have to split the sets up because I have a digipack card here in the middle. There's three more digipack cards, but I'm not gonna fully collect those because those are harder to find. Maybe if someone sells them for a cheap price, I might get them, but I don't think they did a lot of fan signs with digipacks. I only think they did like normal albums. So that's why there's no really any like digipack cards on the market. So, but yeah, these was all the pops I had. Well, she looks good. Seven layout, very cute. So let's move on to the album cards. I'm not sure which is the pure and impure version. Does it or is it called impure? Like impure? Is it called impure? Yeah, impure and pure version. Like we're gonna go that the white one is the pure. I don't know, but it doesn't really matter anymore since I'm gonna put them in now. So I have three from each version, so I'm only missing one. Perversion. No, two perversions, so I'm missing four cards in total, which I'm going to try to buy from one of the group one and managers I used for this, because they should have some extra. They usually have some extra. <laughs> but yeah, let's use, hmm, kind of like this. I'm going to put this one in the middle. Because I think that, yeah, the other one is also in these outfits, so it's going to match. Which is what I like. <laughs> 
when it matches, I like it. But I also don't like when cards are too similar, especially... Okay, album cards can be similar if there's a lot of cards. But pops can never be similar because then it's no fun, in my opinion. Hmm, let's put this one right here because it's cute. And then this one and this one. And then I'm just missing two more cards, which I'm just going to put here if it works out nicely. And then we have the other version, which I also have six cards for. Let's just put them in. Whoop. I don't know, like, Sana is very good at, like, taking cute cards. He's very good. Look, I'm gonna see it. He's cute. Which, I don't know if he likes to be called cute, hopefully. But I feel like he... He... Yeah, he... Like, the way he acts, he likes to be called cute. So he's gonna be called cute, okay? But yeah, he's just very... I don't know, he's just very good at that. And I like cute cards. I don't know if that's why I collect a lot of girl groups, because I feel like they have cuter cards. But that's just what resonates with me. Cute cards. I don't know. And I feel like sometimes a lot of boy groups, is, like, they're kind of lacking in that area. But, oh my god, so I finally have some of the car these cards. Now I just need to go and buy the last ones I don't have. Which I'm probably going to do when I get paid in two weeks. Because right now all my money is going to Ive and nothing else. Financially responsible. Okay, it's not financially responsible buy a lot of Ive stuff, but I'm as financially responsible as I can be, which is good. So yeah, let's just move on to the two last binders, which is NCT and a few girl groups. Okay, let's do the girl groups first. So this binder is from now on my kind of like past girl group collections. So one or I think, I think I'm keeping all of these, but I'm not sure yet. I haven't decided. I'm definitely keeping the G-Friend collection. That's just in here because it's on hold. But I might sell off some Vivi stuff. I'm not sure. But everything's staying for now. And Mamamoo I'm stopping after this their last comeback. Because it's just no fun collecting anymore. Because I feel like there's just... It's just very hard to collect. Because Mamamoo is an older group. And they're not gaining as many new fans as the younger groups. And like newly debuted one. But they're a very good group. <laughs> but yeah, they're not gaining new fans. And I feel like instead a lot of fans is stop, like they stop collecting, which is making it harder. Instead of like new people start collecting, it's like, I feel like it's the opposite for some older groups. Like people just stop collecting, which makes it really hard. But I do have one more Nemo version card, which means I'm only missing one more Nemo card. So if you have the last Nemo card, just sell it to me. So I can be fine, like finally be done with this collection. But I feel like it was this era that kind of just drove me over the edge. Because they had so many cards. Like, I I haven't even collected all of them. There's so many more units and there's concept cards. And it's just like, it's just too crazy for me. So, sadly, this put an end to my collecting journey for them. But I have one more unit. And then I also have this unit, which is so cute. So I just decided to split the cards up a bit to make it look nicer. So I decided to put all the units on one page. And then we have my... I still don't know if you say idol, G-idol. Um, I don't know. But yeah. Okay, then we have this page, which is very empty right now. But it's the one that's going to contain my G-idol album cards. My mini cards, which I'm so happy to have these. Because I think I've told the story before, but my original set of what's the album card? It's called I Love. Their fifth it says fifth mini album. But yeah, they actually got lost. Royal Mail lost them because I had I, I had them sent while I lived in the UK to my uni, and they were tracked, but they just never arrived, and the tracking number just never updated, and. That's not the GOMS fault, so they didn't have to like reimburse me in any way, but they offered to actually send me a full set of album cards for free, which is really nice. So I'm really thankful for that, because I think if they didn't do that, I don't think I would have ever continued this collection again, because I was just so like, I don't know, I was heartbroken. No, I just wasn't feeling it anymore, because I don't know, I lost my full set of albums, I lost all my pops, I lost everything, and it was just like... Awful, but the group order managed were so kind, so they sent me a full set, which did arrive, and it did not get lost on the way to Sweden, which I had to send Sweden instead. But yeah, so hmm, 
yeah, so I have her like photo book cards, but as you can see, I'm still missing digipacks because the digipack cards are, they're hard. They're really hard. <laughs> and I do have a, a one card to trade, but I haven't been able to lure someone in. No one wants to trade. So yeah, I don't know. And I kind of lost motivation to look for these cards, but I just want to have this page complete because then I feel like it would be okay for me to put this collection on hold maybe forever so yeah i don't know oh, i'm just like i'm getting tired as well because it's getting late and i had a tough day but oh my god this actually looks really good i'm really happy now when i see it on one page it looks so nice except this part just ignore ignore that but this looks really nice oh it's gonna look so good if i ever get these oh my god but yeah now i actually oh whoops i only have three more cards which is for my entity binder Okay, last up. Oh, this is so... I just talk, I talked about earlier how I'm going to drop this, which I probably will. Oh my god. So yeah, but I do have his membership version card. Oh my god, yeah. I do have his membership version card, which we're going to put in for now. But yeah, I think this summer I will sell off the cards I can with albums and then just put the rest up for trade. But now when I'm looking at it, I don't know... But that's bad, like, I shouldn't have to look at it to actually, like, oh, I want to keep it. No, that's bad. Oh, it looks so good, though. Oh, someone actually DM'd me to trade for this last night, but I said no, because I was going to drop it. But now I'm, like, second-guessing myself. No, that's not good. Just keep, 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 keep going. I can't actually keep continuing collecting him, because I have other stuff I want to put money towards, and my savings account also wants me to save for my future. But yeah, okay, so this is his guest version, Nathan's guest version card, which goes right here. And then this is his palace version. They all look so similar, which is crazy, but I have it complete, which I never thought I would because I didn't manage complete to get his palace version for this, or I haven't tried actually, but I don't want to get into that because then I would feel like I want to need to get into collecting the keynotes for this album this <laughs> and you know those keynotes are hard and i feel like i'm just gonna be satisfied with what i got but yeah that was all for this what could have been a big big video but for this second part which i hope you enjoyed if you did watch this because i have a feeling less people will watch this one because the more popular groups were in the last one but that's fine but yeah thank you so much for watching and hopefully i'll see you in my next video